Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, we're back for another video today. And today we're going to be putting together a tank for a type of fish that we have never kept in the fish room before. It's a very popular fish and they seem really cool, but I, I don't know a whole lot about them other than what I have researched. So when we get into this, if you know something about these specific fish, make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what you think about them. But with that, let's just get into this build today. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this Aquion Frameless Glass Aquarium. Now, part of this is we're gonna have to take this thing and clean it out really well because it has been sitting on a store shelf for quite some time. Before we do anything else with this tank, what we need to do first is flip this thing completely over and upside down, exposing the bottom. We're gonna dry the bottom of this tank off really, really well. And then we need to apply this leveling mat. And what this leveling mat does is it allows it to kind of absorb the differences in whatever you sit this on. So as an example, I'm gonna sit this on one of my shelves in the fish room. So if there's any type of area that is not completely flat, this will kind of make it even for us. And what we also wanna do is go ahead and lay some of this frosted backing on this, because we do want this to have a frosted back. Now to start this scape, this is gonna be a fully planted tank. So we are going to be using planted substrate. That is gonna consist of some fluval stratum planted substrate. This stuff is fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and pour some of this back here in the back of this tank. I'm gonna get a good layer of it going. We're not gonna fill the whole tank up with it because well, the foreground won't be as planted as the background. So we will be using a capping substrate for this, which will be some crushed sand style substrate. So I'm going to take this crushed stone substrate here and I'm going to start placing it in the foreground first. We want to build like a barrier between the open glass on the bottom and this planted substrate to keep this planted substrate towards the back. I'm going to press this substrate down up against this planted substrate. Take that rock out of there. Like I said, just kind of create a barrier, if you will. Now we can cap this substrate off. Now that we have our planted substrate capped off, it's time to go ahead and start working on this hardscape. For hardscape material, we're gonna be using this really cool piece of driftwood. This thing has been soaking for quite some time, so it should sink. I shouldn't have to glue it down. We're also gonna be using some river stone and then some other small features such as pea gravel and things of that nature. So we first wanna start by placing this piece of driftwood into this tank and looking to see how it's gonna sit. And what it looks like to me is we're gonna have to sit it diagonally in this tank, which is fine. And guys, I'm really sorry about the reflection on the glass. I have got to get a new polarized filter for my camera, and I promise I'll have one before my next video. So overall, this is what the hardscape's gonna look like. It's just some river rock with this piece of driftwood that's kind of fallen over into it, and we're gonna fully plant this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you up on a smaller tripod right here, and let's go ahead and get this thing planted up. All right, guys, we'll have some plants stored in this guppy breeding tank temporarily, and we're gonna go ahead and pull these out of here. But I think what we're gonna start with is some of this wisteria right here. And this wisteria is a great lush green plant that does really well in low lighting, high lighting, no CO2, turns into a nice green bushy kind of plant. So we're gonna take some of that. We also have some of this Rotala rotundifolia, which we're gonna take some of this. We have some Anacharis, but a red flame sword. These red flame swords are really, really cool. Take one of these really nice radican swords. In fact, we have two of these. We're gonna take both of those. We have some Bacopa over here. We're gonna take a few sets of these Bacopa. And then we also have some Christmas moss that we'll use. All right, guys. Well, these plants that we're about to plant are a very easy to care for set of plants. And in fact, you can get all of these plants at freshwaterscrub.com. You can pick up some plants for 10% off all the way through Thanksgiving. So let's talk about what plants we're gonna be using here. So to start, we have some Rotala rotundifolia, and this is a very easy to care for stem plant. The more light you give it, the redder it kind of gets, and it 
really does well in low light situations. Next is Kabamba. Now I will tell you Kabamba is in fact illegal in a lot of states in the United States. So you may or may not be able to get that. We do pay attention to what is illegal and what's not, and we will not ship anything that is illegal. Same goes with this Anacris. Anacris is another invasive species because Kabamba and Anacris grow very, very fast and they can take over waterways and things of that nature. That is why, just like with your aquarium fish, your aquarium plant should never be disposed of in a waterway. You should always compost them or throw them in the garbage when you are done with them. Next is some Bacopa. Bacopa is a great plant, easy to care for as well. We have our Christmas moss. We have our wisteria, then we have our little red flame sword, and our big radican swords. Let's go ahead and start getting this stuff planted. So looking into this tank, what I wanna try to do is get some of these plants up in the back a little bit, as well as some here in the foreground. So what we're gonna start with is this little red flame sword, and we're gonna go ahead and place this guy right up here in the foreground, somewhere like right down in between these rocks. The nice thing about these swords is, is they can either be planted or you can and stuff them between rocks similar to a Anubius and we're just gonna stuff that one right there between those rocks because it will give it a nice little pop of color right here in the front of this tank. And coming back here I'm gonna place some of this wisteria right here in the back and that will float up nicely and look really well. One thing that I'm gonna add to this substrate and I didn't do it while we were putting the substrate in and that's my own fault is I just completely forgot but we are gonna add some API root tabs right into this substrate. And had I done this the correct way, I would have pushed them down into the planted substrate before capping it off. But what we will do, we're gonna take these, we're gonna break them in half. We're just gonna drop them along the back of this tank. And then I will push them down into the substrate. So now that we got those root tabs in there, we can continue our planting. And so we got this wisteria over here in the corner. We're gonna add right next to it here, some of this anacris, and this anacris is a very fast propagating plant as well. Super easy to grow. We're just gonna push that right down into the substrate there. I wanna add another set of this wisteria back here behind this driftwood. That stuff to spread out and stand up nicely. Add some anacris back here in the back corner. And I think I wanna stick this Kabamba right up in the crevice of this rock. So that'll stand up nicely right there. Push one of these radican swords right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna start pressing some of this Christmas moss into these nooks and crannies and cracks and crevices of this driftwood and in the rock and anywhere else. As an example, come in right here and this stuff will stay in the wood pretty well. It won't float off. And then it'll start to actually stand up and grow. Some right there, maybe some down in here. We're gonna add some over here to this little end over here as well. Some of this Rotala rotundifolia. I'm gonna try to add back here in the background a little bit. This stuff will take some time to be shown because it's a little shorter than everything else. But as it grows, you will be able to see, I mean, it grows really well and it'll start to stand up back here. All right, guys, well, with that, I think we have this thing planted as much as we're going to plant it. I ended up not using one bunch of Rotala rotundifolia, one bunch of Bacopa and one of these swords, but that's okay. We're gonna put these back in the tank. And of course, if you are in need of any freshwater plants, make sure you check out freshwaterscrub.com and check our selection of plants. We are stocking more and more plants every single day. In fact, we're about to launch an Anubius pack where you're gonna get multiple types of Anubius, things of that nature. So go check out freshwaterscrub.com and use code THANKSGIVING. Thanksgiving will give you 10% off at freshwaterscrub.com all the way through Thanksgiving. Make sure you go pick up your plants before they sell out. We restock every Tuesday and we try to ship on Tuesday. So freshwaterscrub.com for all of your aquarium plant needs. So let's get back into this. All right guys, well now that we have this thing sitting where we are gonna permanently have it, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing filled up with water. Now to fill this with water, what I'm going to do is take a paper towel and I'm gonna set this right here in the foreground of this tank just like this. That will allow us to fill this directly on that paper towel, not 
in any way disturbing the substrate because the substrate will get extremely dusty and extremely dirty. So we'll let this thing sit here and fill up, which is gonna take us a minute because we're gonna fill up very slow. All right guys, well, we went ahead and set up the filtration. We're just using a hang on the back filter from Fluval. And what we wanna do now is go ahead and add some smaller decorative elements to the bottom here. I also added one additional plant, which is this banana plant, which is a super cool plant that I've actually never kept before. And I recently stocked those at freshwaterscrub.com as well. So go check those out. All right, guys, before we add any other elements to this, I'm gonna go ahead and treat this water with some API stress coat to get rid of all the chlorines and chloramines, because what I'm gonna be adding is some leaf litter, and this leaf litter is coming out of another tank, which means that it has some beneficial bacteria in it, and we don't wanna kill that. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat with this, as well as some API quick start which is a liquid beneficial bacteria now granted this does say that it allows the instant addition of fish but it is always recommended that you wait and let the tank cycle naturally which is what we're actually going to do so let's go ahead and add some of this as well now i'm going to go ahead and drop some of this leaf litter in here we're not putting a whole lot in just a little bit we're going to let this soak to the bottom now the buoyancy of these are going to be a little different in this tank and they're not going to sink as fast because this water is a little colder because it hasn't heated up from the heater yet so this tank is fully done guys and i have to say i really like how it's turned out i'm gonna let the filtration run and clear this thing up and we will check back here in just a couple of days so we can get these new fish into this tank all right guys well it's been a couple of days since we looked at this tank it has started to clear up nicely the plants are all standing up they're starting to get some color in them and what we're going to do is we're going to go and treat this water with a little bit of nutrients for these plants and then we're going to talk about the fish we're putting in here so we're going to start with a little bit of this api co2 booster we're also going to add a little bit of the leaf zone I think I also want to add a little bit of floating plants to this. So let's grab some frog bit from the beta tank below. And let's put this in here as well. And now with that, let's go ahead and look at these fish. Now, so the fish that are going to be going in here have actually been in the quarantine tub with that one-eyed koi that I showed you guys a couple of videos ago. I've been changing water from this tank and swapping it with that tub so they could be fully acclimated to the water condition. So this tank is fully ready. It is at the exact same parameters as the tub they're coming out of, including temperature. So I should be able to just simply transfer them over with no further acclimation. So let's go over there and scoop these little guys up. All right, we got the first set of fish and let's introduce them to their new home. These are beautiful little pink and blue guppies. I've actually never kept this kind of guppy before, but this isn't even really what we're, we're here to see. These are cool, yes, and they are gonna be in here, but they're just really dither fish. So let's get what's actually going into this tank today, which is something I've never kept ever in the fish room before today. Let's take a look. All right, I got these and let's take a look at these. All right, so these are panda goldfish. I believe they're panda more goldfish, and they're super cool. I have never kept goldfish before, so this is gonna be interesting, but super cool fish, and they're gonna go in here with these guppies right here. That's why we put some floating plants up here because there are males and females, they may breed. But then again, the fry may get eaten. Probably not by these guys because they don't seem like they're too quick, but you never know. But I think this tank turned out pretty awesome and I think that it'll grow in really nicely. We'll you know, have to check in on this thing here in a few weeks and see what the plant growth looks like. So we have these three little guys right here. If you know anything about them, make sure you comment below and let me know. But I need names for these guys. So make sure you comment below and let me know what you think we should name these. So let's take a closer look at this thing.
Well, like I said earlier, if you have not visited freshwaterscrub.com, make sure you go check it out and use code Thanksgiving and tell Thanksgiving to get 10% off your plant orders. You can go pick up things like Wisteria or Bacopa Cabamba, maybe a different kind of sword. We got Radican swords, all kinds of things. Rotala, Rotundifolia, Frogbit, duckweed, hornwort, all different kinds of things. So go check it out. We also have these really unique banana plants as well as a whole different pack of Anubiuses are coming soon. As well as, we're gonna have red tiger lotuses. How about an Anubius coffifolia? So, all different plant options at freshwaterscrub.com. All right guys, well hopefully you went on to enjoy this video and if you have not visited freshwaterscrub.com, make sure you go do that. Use code THANKSGIVING for 10% off. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell as well as go follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to all are down below. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and hey, we will see you next time.